Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back to Pro Row 784. We got the dogs out here this morning. We got Lily. And this is Rosie. Um, listen, I just wanted to catch you guys up a little bit. Uh, today's going to be a short video on golf carts. I've uh, been doing a lot, a lot of that lately. Uh, we are not working at the cart shop uh, right now. Uh, we, we take off that little stint in July just to try to get caught up on some things. And, and things do slow down up there. All of our winter guests are obviously up north and stuff, to be honest with you. And some organization, too, up at the cart shop. So uh, I wanted to show you guys, uh, uh, if you guys watched the last video, th this is the cart that I was building. And I have finally got it completed. And uh, that, that was a cart. I'm going to try to put some uh, a picture of what the cart looked like and maybe some progression video or pictures of it, of me building it. But uh, that cart took seven and a half days to build. And uh, basically it's a 2020 um, stretch club car tempo. So uh, this cart is going, uh, I did all the paint. I painted the body myself, did the stretch. Um, did the entire, the entire cart is all done, you know, obviously, you know, sitting right there. But uh, it actually sounds pretty good. I don't know. So I better turn that off so I don't get copyrighted. But uh, but this one, this one has what they call the Navita system on there, and uh, it's got the lithium battery. It's got the lithium battery onboard charger. I know it's sort of dark in here, but uh, it is early here. Um, and it's got the uh, got the Navitas motor, uh, AC drive motor. Hey, babe. So uh, I took this car out and test drove it, 32 mile an hour, and tons of torque. So, uh, but anyway, th this is the next cart that I'm going to be doing. Sort of the same thing. This one will not be stretched. Going to get the Echo Lithium battery, the Navitas drive system in it. Uh, this cart will be orange, as you can see sitting right here. So, this is the body, my dad's favorite color. This is all the associated parts of tearing that cart there down. Some of that stuff we'll reuse. This stuff's all got to get painted. Went to the cart shop yesterday and got all the associated parts. Rear flip seat, motors, uh, rear lead, or the leaf springs there, lift kit, tires and wheels. Uh, I'm gonna put a stereo on this one here too. Uh, turn signal kit, all that. Hey, listen, it's been hotter than all get out down here. I think it was, uh, feels like 113 yesterday is what they said. Uh, got the door open here, so try to get started early out here. Me and my beautiful bride went yesterday. I'll show you what we picked up out here. Um, I gotta get all this stuff unloaded, but, and then get that darn door shut because it's hot already, you know what I mean? But, uh, but we picked up these carts yesterday. They, these are, these are some wholesale carts. These are gas carts. Uh, these are two used carts on the back that we picked up from the wholesaler that he had on trade in. So got to get all those carts unloaded and get them, get them a brown back. There's my truck there. I have to move it in and out. I usually park it, park it in there, but I move it in and out just so I don't skin the darn thing up. But uh, it sits out here up underneath the oak tree while I'm in there working. So, but anyway, so today, so today I'm going to try to get that unloaded and get some golf cart stuff done so
boy, that's a beautiful sunrise. Uh, it's pretty early out here, probably about 6:35, 6:37, something like that. Uh, got to get the, got to get the mower out. Karen's wanting to cut the grass, so um, it's been hotter than all get out down here to be honest with you. But uh, all right, so got the carts unloaded there. Um, those two there, I'm going to take inside the shop here. I'm going to charge the batteries on the one there. That's a battery cart also. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the charger on those and uh, go in here and get this lawnmower ready to go. I decided to go ahead and change the oil on this thing at 360 hours uh, and on the hour meter it's probably got about 40 hours on it so almost 400 so I decided to go ahead and change it before uh, we let Miss Karen take this thing out um, and then also I'm going to do the blades too. What's up girl? What's up? All right, maintenance is all done on the uh, the mower here. Uh, got the uh, new sharpened blades on there. Got the oil changed. Did not have an oil filter in, in this entire shop. I had thought I had a, an oil filter for this thing, but I do not. So uh, we are going to go ahead and run it today. Um, that one obviously has got about 40 hours on it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and let her run it and go ahead and get the grass cut today. And uh, I'll be getting one of them this week. I probably got one at the cart shop. I thought I had one here, but evidently I don't. So, uh, but I don't think I don't think it'll hurt it. So, uh, but we've got 10 acres here at the house here, and uh, Karen cuts probably about five acres of it. Uh, um, been a good mower, and uh, I've had to put a deck on it one time because the grass out here sometimes when it gets really dry in the winter time uh, gets real sandy. Not real sandy, but it, but it gets sandier than what it is right now. But right now the grass is really healthy, obviously, because we've been getting some rain. And when it don't get below 80 degrees at nighttime, you can look outside and see the darn grass growing. So, uh, but anyway, we'll, we'll get after it and uh, and I'll get an oil filter for this thing. But uh, put this thing outside and let Miss Karen know that it's ready to rock out. Right, so since it's got the lawnmower all ready for Miss Karen, got it up there uh, and went inside and told her that it was ready to go. So. Um, hey, listen, I got the fan running and the air conditioner running, so it may be a little bit of background noise, but uh, hey, listen, um, it's a little warm down here, and, uh, they, and, and the fans just keep it keep the air circulating, but uh, um, all right, so this is a 2004 Club Car DS, okay, electric 48-volt Club Car DS. Uh, I got a bunch of these, and I built most of them, still got some, and uh, basically they're rolling chassis and that kind of stuff, and uh, the reason why you see the new body that we're going to be putting that new body i i do have some that's been painted and that i've painted and i've had painted but this one's going to be this orange body here so the first first item that i got to do i got to remove this engine here and uh that is a brushed motor the motor that we're putting in there is the navitas brush list motor it's a 4000 kw motor the motor that i put in that thing is a 5000 kw so uh it's just got more torque uh you know no more speed so so this thing ought to do 32 mile an hour also potentially now um mile per hour don't mean a lot to a lot of people and especially me uh but 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 it's there if you need it it's got a little dial on the it's called on the fly on the fly on the dash panel that you can adjust the speed adjust the torque adjust the braking it's almost got it's got regenerative braking um almost like a diesel truck you know it's got like a, a jake brake sort of that's what those things has got uh, just to slow them down. So uh, it's a really neat system. And uh, we, we do that quite a bit whenever somebody wants to upgrade. I put the uh, the high amp controller on there, the D, uh, the uh, AC drive motor, brushless motor with a heavy duty solenoid. And these things are, um, had really, really good luck uh, paired with the Echo lithium battery and uh, had really, really good luck with it. So I got to get this engine out here. This one's missing a leaf spring here too which is okay i've got brand new leaf springs over there heavy duty leaf springs um obviously it's got to have new bushings in there the bushings are gone here so 
And then this is very typical of a 2004 Club Car DS. Um, all the front end, all this, all this stuff right here will go. And uh, installing the new lift kit over there, putting a new rack and pinion on it, that kind of stuff. Probably new Himes. But uh, anyway, it's going to be a pretty neat build. So I'll take you guys along. I do have a little tripod that I've half-assed set up here. I don't know if this thing's going to work, but I might put you in time lapse and just see. I don't know. I'm still learning. As yeah, you guys know, I'm not a professional at video editing. And, uh, and I don't put a lot of time and effort into it just because I don't have it. And... Uh, but anyway, I do a lot of the videoing myself and don't have nobody walking behind me and helping me uh, videotape me and that kind of stuff. But uh, I'm going to try to show you guys some a little bit more of this stuff and a little bit of the other side of what I do. Uh, Brandon's not here a lot, and I know you guys tune in uh, to see Brandon and his racing, that kind of stuff. And we're going to have some of that right now. There's no racing going on. He's just basically testing and uh, practicing and uh, training the kids and that kind of stuff. So uh listen i work by myself a lot out here and uh i said to hell with it i'm just gonna pick the camera up and show you guys what i do so and th this is this is an everyday to me this is sunday morning um early out here and uh so just try to get things done as you guys know uh, i like i like repairing things and fixing stuff and uh born and raised doing that i like being dirty all the time and just you know just get my hands dirty and repairing things and and also building badass golf carts so let's get going All right, so I got the uh, the rear end all put back in the car here. Um, hey, I was going to ask you guys something. Uh, let me see with a show of hands of how many people do not like time lapse. Me being one, I hate freaking time lapse. So I'm going to try to stop that. I don't know. I was just trying to figure out a way to show you guys what I'm doing here um, instead of just walking around with the damn camera all the time. But uh, anyway, hey, I watch a lot of YouTube, and uh, pretty much the only television that I watch is YouTube. Um, got several friends that I watch and uh, channels that I really really enjoy uh, Lately, I've been into homesteading uh, Homesteading if you guys don't know what that is type that in YouTube and you'll see uh, There's some really good uh, people out there that are doing really awesome badass things Okay, and uh, they just wake up and kill it every morning They just get up and get after it and uh, that's how I live my life. But uh, anyway So anyway, uh, I hate the time lapse so I'm going to try to go get my magnet. I'm going to maybe stick it on the toolbox over there, and then I'll try to get to a little bit of video. But anyway, got the uh, got the rear end all put in this thing. Got new bushings put in here. Uh, Heavy-duty dual-action leaf springs. I like these leaf springs here because what happens is, is um, you don't lose your ride. Uh, damn golf carts are so damn stiff anyway, and they're rougher than hell. But anyway, these these leaf springs here I like because this is actually a helper. So so when you put two people on the back of this thing, it goes down, and then this spring right here catches it. You can see how heavy duty that is. And uh, but when you don't have passengers on the back, it, it doesn't kill your ride. I did paint uh, the rear end there a little bit. I use trim paint. I don't like really glossy paint. Um, obviously, this is uh, a 2004 golf cart. It's it's gonna it's gonna look really really nice, but. Uh, you don't want it to look so freaking blingy that uh you know that 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 you know you just i don't know to me i like the trim paint uh this is what i use here um the worth uh satin black trim paint it actually works out really good so all right so now where i'm at here now i'm gonna go to uh, the rear end's done six inch lift six inch blocks on the back heavy duty leaf springs new bushings and sleeves uh nuts and bolts all brand new in the front here i've got to remove this all of this this entire piece here we are going to probably reuse these hubs uh i've got to clean them up but i think i'm going to reuse them i think um 
depends on what they feel like and that kind of stuff i may put new bearings in them or just throw brand new hubs on there i don't know yet uh but but anyway we've got to reuse this entire shock tower here but all the the spindles go and all that stuff there and then i've got the lift kit the box half-assed opened over there because i had to remove all the stuff out of the back so all right so let's get to the front end here All right, guys, that's going, probably going to wrap it up for today. A couple things. Uh, almost lunchtime. Going to go in and eat lunch with my beautiful wife. And then also, uh, the damn SIM card in there is about out of memory. So I just looked on the back side. It had like, you know, four minutes left. So I'm going to try to close this video out. So anyway, hey, listen, I got the lift kit on there. Um, I, I could not find my socket. I'm sure it's at the cart shop. So I've got to get that. Got to get some new Himes. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and probably go ahead and replace these spindles also but uh the the lift kit is mounted shocks are on everything's there just got to tighten those up going to get new uh spin or uh, hubs to go on those spindles so anyway that's pretty much a wrap on the golf cart for this morning um hey i was going to tell you too i had a guy ask me about my race car um a viewer asked me about my race car hey listen uh so i did get a phone call from the motor builder and uh, he has almost got my cylinder head done. We've been waiting on a camshaft forever, and he did. He has got it. That's been about a week ago that I talked to him, and uh, he said approximately two more weeks be completed. So uh, I'm excited to get the cylinder head and new camshaft, new followers, new valves, new springs, everything, the top end of the motor on the race car. So, uh, and then once I get that on there, I'm gonna go up to Arvindale Speedway and probably do a little bit of testing. We've got racing coming up, I think at the end of August. So about, you know, four weeks away. So I've got to get this thing ready to go. I have worked on the chassis, chassis all done. I've just got, I've still got it sitting on the plates here, but uh, mainly just because I, you know, I haven't taken time to freaking take, take it off of there. But uh, anyway, excited to get the cylinder head for the race car and do some more racing myself. So uh, quite a bit more of this coming up. Got any of you guys saw the golf carts that I unloaded this morning and uh, i'm going to try to get this thing here done that one is a customer cart uh that one be will be delivered this coming up friday this one is going a guy in iowa a businessman in iowa has purchased this and it's going to a wedding venue a uh, a wedding venue so uh, he's going to use that at a wedding venue to transport uh i guess customers back and forth parking area that kind of stuff got a big ass place up there i guess so uh, anyway hey as always, guys, I appreciate you guys watching the videos. And uh, I haven't said that in a long time, but uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I'm pushing my way to about 1,000. Damn near 1,000 already if I'm not there. And uh, I'm going to try to give you guys some more content on video of what I do. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, I'm damn near 50 years old, and I wake up every morning and uh, try to get after it. So, uh, but anyway, as always, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you.